is Nature Curl Gaming, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. I don't even know the number, because for some reason I forget Wolf Quest numbers a lot. But anyways, I've tried to record this three times. One time the game crashed, one time I started coughing, for no apparent reason. And then, now, I would like to say what I hear about today. Each year, I will be posting bloopers that I got from that year, and I will be saving the bloopers just to share. I am really, really excited about this, because I think it will be pretty interesting. I may also take small clips from videos that I've already made that are blooper worthy. rabbit here. A half-eaten rabbit. I guess I'm gonna eat it also. But I have an entire folder just so that I can save all my funny bloopers. The pups are actually getting pretty big. They might have to move out soon. I think we'll be done with Wolf Quest for a little bit. And still, six of them are alive. I like that. Okay, come on. That's over here. That sounds a lot like Nature Dog whenever they cry. Nope, twig. In the den. In the den. <laughs> no, I said in. No, go in. <laughs> <laughs> Mule deer tracks! Amazing! Did we ever get that newborn ungulates quest? No. I wonder when you get it. I'm actually not sure. Here are the footprints. Go this way. Nope, they go this way. What? That is really, really weird. Just dog panting with constant noises. <laughs> Just a torpedo. No, stop. This is why I like multiplayer slightly better. Because for some reason your mate thinks it has to stay at pace with you instead of going ahead and catching it so that you can help with it. Like if it's really close, like see it's dodging on, you stop to catch your breath and then they just give up for no apparent reason. I think that maybe the devs should add in, like, a different word or something, like, a different bark that you could use, and it would, like, call your mate to stop hunting, but other than that, they would just chase after food if it came near. I hear wolf howling. That's really, really concerning. And of course now we this might be easier. Okay, we're gonna follow these tracks. One which is gonna lead back into our territory, but two because they appear to be a female, which I think are less health. Where do they do less damage? I can't remember. Either way, they're easier to hunt. A 
Oh, this means we'll also be to like go up there and mark the other territory that's not been marked. It'd be cool if we could find a fawn. Is there one? Ooh, I got it. It's not a fawn. It'll still work though. Where are you going, divers? Stay. And always let go the fifth, like the fourth time you've done damage. Sometimes they'll kick you off early if your mate has already grabbed on, because that means that they've already started doing the damage. Come on, come on. We just all of a sudden activated our torpedo speed. Okay, I gotta regenerate. Dyrus, please don't stop hunting it. Dyrus! You let it get away! Why are you whining at me? Why are you whining? Okay, good, we got it. Now I think we're probably gonna end up eating it all, because I think my mate is really hungry. Yeah, they are. Goodness, they are really, really, really hungry. The great lumbering nature dog. Why are you like taking off meat chunks and going to eat them over there? Yeah, we're definitely not gonna want to put a marker because then we might come out all the way here and then just have a cougar or a bear have it. Oh, it's just gonna be gone now. All right. Why don't I use those markers for the flooded area and the river crossing? I don't know exactly why I did a river crossing marker. It seems a little strange to me. short hunt so we can do other things today like sleep <laughs> I forget can they eat meat chunks yet no I don't think so I might want to speed feed them. I know that it's a little weird, but I think it's gonna be the best way. Especially for our run to the litter sunshine. There's a lot on the run to side. Who's our strongest one? Ghost. Of course, ghost is always strongest. <laughs> Where's the hat? Wait, where, where's the hat? Where's the hat? Where's the hat? <laughs> Here it is. Who's sleeping? Oh, we actually are tired. Why are you looking like, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have chosen Dyrus. Like, I don't, I'm not sure exactly why, it just seems kind of like they're really, really submissive. They're kind of like a more accepting bumble strike from warriors. Don't know why, like I just pulled that name out of my brain. <laughs> mm, yes. Yes, that's how things work. I hear lots of howling, and I think that probably means that wolves will be coming soon, do it. Oh man, our territory is slowly disintegrating. Okay, we'll let that piece drop off, 
because we can get a rendezvous with just that, I think. Oh man, that's gonna be difficult. Keep eating! I'm just gonna throw up all over the fishing rod. It seems like a pretty dangerous thing to have here. Oh, but I guess it doesn't have the string, it's just the pole. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. I was like, are we trying to pierce our little baby's mouth with this? I have a feeling wolves are gonna come soon. How is... what? How is Sunshine still only at 11? Okay, I think Sunshine might be... Like really really weak like about to be sick weak or something all right so let's sleep one more time and then we'll go out and hunt again and also some people might be wondering i know that i've seen people asking this a lot so why don't i have my puppies sleep in the den because then i'll have to get them all in when i wake up because normally predators attack right after you wake up so the reason I do this is because, we see here, the fleas are already irritating, and if you have them sleep there, then they're gonna go up by like 20% by the time you wake up. So it makes you have to move a lot faster, and that puts the pups in much more danger. <laughs> oh no, cougar! Cougars are really, really scary, especially at night. No! Oh my goodness. I like just searching. <laughs> Pebble's just sitting there like, whoa, that's a cool looking thing. <laughs> they were all just up there. All of them were just there. Thank you, Dyrus. Dyrus, come, like when it comes to defending for the pups, Dyrus is really, really good. Something that I'm really happy about is that the Coors will pick up your pups and they'll just slowly start losing health. So you can just have them drop your pup. And then like they might get another one, but it'll be a different one also. Especially if you have one. My beautiful Riverstone. You're lovely. Lovely. Hi. I'm not going to try to hunt over there because I wouldn't want to go all the way into the forest. I think I might have to end up starting playing with my headphones again. Even though it sounds really weird. Um, just because the bird is screaming constantly. Constantly. Ooh, that's a bear and her cubs. No, don't chase them into the den. Chase them off of our territory. No, no, no. Get her away. And bite her cubs sometimes to, like, nip at them. Oh, hey, a rabbit. I could eat that. Wait, apparently I can't? Tyrus, did you get it? You did! I didn't know that your mate, like, your mate could actually catch a rabbit. I'm really excited for chapter three. I will definitely be continuing on with the game once chapter three happens. Like, that's the thing that's gonna be happening. Ow! Goodness. Okay, I'm gonna save. We're fighting a bear to get it away from us and our territory. I hear more wolves. Perhaps the wolves chased them onto our territory. Oh, no, 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 I don't want that. At least I'm not an iron wolf, so I can just, like, continue it. I'm snappish. Yes, they're running. If we can just kill one of the cubs. And snag it and then run. That's what you have to do. You have to wait until the mother's really far ahead or really like far from you. And then snap. There we go. <coughs> We're gonna fight these bears. What? Elk, mule deer, and moose 
must have given birth to the serious calves and fawns. That was not the time. Elk and mule deer or mothers hide their babies in stands of tall grass while they graze some distance away. If you find one before the mother notices you, you will have a nice... Goodness. <laughs> You'll have a nice meal to, care to eat or carry back to your pups who can now eat small carcasses and chunks. Yay! Baby moose, however, stay with their mother as they wander and graze. Okay. Look for patches of tall grass as you travel throughout your territory. Newborn elk and mule deer em emit no scent, but if you see a solo cow elk or, d or doe mule deer, you'll know that a baby is hiding nearby. I know. That's amazing. That could provide us some great food. Oh no! Oh, ah, ah, I attacked it just the wrong time. Oh. like dying a little bit. <laughs> a little less than me. We just need to dodge. Duck and weave! <laughs> Divers run! <laughs> Trying to kill at least one of them just to like fully get her all the way out of her territory. Dyrus, there's the mother watching. You need to hit the bear cub twice and then run from the mother. Like, it's very important that you know when to run. If you run it to like just the wrong time, you might die. Especially because the mother like keeps running slightly, which means we'll have just enough time to snap at it twice and then get out of the way. Not recommend doing this on Iron Wolf though. Pretty much just doing this to have something interesting on the video. Yeah! Ooh no, that was really really close. Okay, saving. Don't delete it. There you go. Oh no! I didn't see it there. Okay, we're gonna run now. I think that they've gotten the message. We almost killed one of them. I mean, you can't really eat the like bear cubs after you kill them. I feel like you should be able to eat carnivores if you have low enough health. Then, like, maybe it has a chance to make a pup sick if you bring it to them? That'd be interesting. Or, like, if it filled you up with slightly green. Okay, we're gonna sleep just to regain some health. We're dreaming of... Oh, of course. We're dreaming of all of us fighting a bear. Beavers. Mm. Mule deer with their mother. Basically everything that happened. All the rabbits. That's actually a new one. I have not seen that one eagles. I hope that doesn't mean an eagle is about to come. None of them are at even 14 yet. All right. Oh man, that did not give us much um, health at all. So I think I'm gonna go find a mother and like a lone mother and their baby and then end it there. I keep hearing wolves howling, and to be honest, it is really, really scaring me. Like, I'm constantly seeing... Why is there so many? Oof, there's elk scent. So much of it. Which I guess isn't a good thing, because we want just a single elk. But it's not like an entire elk herd's worth. Oh, it is. Okay. I mean, maybe... Maybe it'll work out for me though, I don't know. We'll see. Two hours, one hour. Okay, we're gonna follow the shorter one. There's a bear! Wait, I thought, yeah, is that what that was? I think I 
even just seen a bear. I have to rewatch the recording because I'm pretty sure I just saw like a blue blur go by. Oh, I just saw it again. Where is it? It's like whatever. Okay, I have no idea where it is, but this is giving me the creeps. Ooh, here they are. Okay, is there like gonna be a baby in the grass or do I have to find a solo one? Pretty sure I have to find a solo one, but it's worth a check. Like, especially if one of these is a solo one, it's just taking shelter with all of these. Which, I mean, it would be pretty weird. There's the bear! There is a bear. I don't know. I mean, we don't have enough health to try to catch one. Oh wait, that one was like laying down, but none of the others were. Maybe that means they use a different one. It was also kind of far from the rest. Okay, if I get them to run, then maybe they'll like run to the baby. I'm not sure if that's how that works though. No, I don't think it is. What is that? I think that's a cougar. Probably the cougar we chased away earlier. I think this is the way it went. here. And I already checked all of this grass, I think. Maybe it's, like, much farther out? Is there any grass, like, in the herd? Oh, there was. Right here. Nothing. Hmm. Maybe I should just stop my search here. I don't think I'm gonna find anything. Why am I even trying to send? They emit no sense. try that other trail that we had seen. <gasps> Mother and baby herd! Oh, and the mule deer. I'm gonna do the mule deer. Because the mule deer calf would be easier to carry, I guess. but sometimes it just splits off to one like we've seen before. 20 minutes ago, I do not want to scare it. Yes, it's only one. Oh, it's a buck. Darn it. Wait, then where did the rest go? They just, like, evaporate <laughs> into thin air. What? Oh, wait, there's two bucks. What? That is preposterous. Oh, wait, that's not a buck. I thought it was because of its ears. No, it's not. It has a baby somewhere in these grasses. I know it. Nope. Did not mean for her to run. And it's not running. It's almost like wiggling its tail. It, it almost seems like it wants me to catch it. There's a cougar. I wonder if the cougars can catch a baby deer also. Maybe if I chased it, then it would take me to the baby. But I don't think it's running at all. Okay, where is your baby? I'm gonna chase you. Okay, it was kind of going this way. Kinda? Maybe? <laughs> Maybe they... Who's hell? Wait, Doris, where are you? I think Dyrus abandoned me. I'm gonna like really, really startle it. 
and get it to run. I feel like it's trying to get over here. I wonder if it'll attack me if I get near the right bush. Like it might be one of the ones over here because this is where the cougar is. Where did the cougar even come from? <laughs> it's just here now, having a party. Where even its footprints are so light that that I wonder if that's actually intentional. Like making them light could mean that they're like really light pod. There's also a coyote. It's like a band of one every creature here. Oh, I think it started running. Go. I'm gonna bite it a little bit. Go. Go somewhere. Yeah, this is definitely a mother. Go. Go, run away. Run. Protect your little one. I'm gonna save. I don't wanna die. I've been doing lots of dangerous things. Run away! Okay, it's definitely somewhere over here. I just don't know where. Is it like one of these? Can I already check all of these? <gasps> oh, I found it! Got it! Oh, it's so adorable though. I didn't want to kill it. That poor mother. <laughs> it's just like, well, I have no reason to be here anymore. My little one is dead. They don't mourn like us wolves. <laughs> no. Well, I don't know if they do. I would assume they would. They're animals are just like, well, I guess not just like humans and wolves. None of us are remotely similar. <laughs> Hello, bison. Please don't kick me. That was close. Dyrus, why are the puppies out? And why didn't it tell me? Is, that, is it because you were there they didn't tell me? Goodness. Why couldn't you just stay here with me? We had the puppies under control. <laughs> I find it funny that... Like, I always imagine that maybe this, t my tail, is like a furless mangled tail, because of like my bio that I have where she got washed away. But honestly, in the movie, she had a big tail. Like, she didn't have a big tail, I mean. Okay, Dyrus, don't eat it. Dyrus, Dyrus, don't eat it. Oh hey, I got an achievement. Dyrus, if you eat this, I'm gonna be very angry. It's for the pups. Yeah, see, it's for them. It's for them to eat. Delicious. I hear lots of wolves howling. Oh, it says where they're howling. It's over there. It's like purple. What's this? Prospect Peak, and it's over by Prospect Peak territory. It had like a weird purple marker on the compass when they howled. Wonder if that means a battle or something's going on. But anyways, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you all are enjoying, and I think we might finish it in like two or three episodes, which would be kind of sad. Actually, it's probably not going to be only two or three. It's probably going to be like four or five. But anyway, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.